Watching this line uh, working its way across uh, Georgia, across the southeast, extending out into the Gulf of Mexico. Quite a bit of lightning in these cells, which are in the Gulf of Mexico. And we're just going to continue to watch this kind of fill in as we go through the morning hours. But uh, look at this. Uh, you're looking at close to a thousand strokes of lightning in this view over the past 20 minutes. Slide up in the Georgia, and it has been a rough night across uh, portions of Georgia with this uh, fairly solid line of storms working its way through Atlanta and then just continuing to work its way to the east where you've seen all these uh, flashing polygons. The orange ones, those are severe thunderstorm warnings, and we've had a couple of confirmed tornadoes, and now we also have some other tornado warnings. And this entire line continues to push to the east, that is southern end of it, sweeping across the Gulf of Mexico and pushing in our direction as we go through the midday and into the afternoon hours. 75 degrees right now here in Tampa, St. Petersburg. You're at 76, mid 70s, even up across the northern part of the state. So there's the boundary sitting back to our north and west where you see the the red shade, that is a tornado watch, and then you have the warnings inside of that, and then it just gives you an idea how big this entire system is extending all the way up into the northeast and then wrapping around across the Great Lakes and then back across Wisconsin. They're talking about six to eight inches of snow with this system, so just a huge, huge system that has been rolling across the country. Where you see this yellow shade, that's where we have that chance, uh, that slight chance of seeing some severe weather with this line as it works its way through. So we're going to watch this pretty closely as we go through the afternoon. You want to have that Sky Tower radar app loaded on your phone because if there's any warnings that are issued where you are, it will alert you on your phone to let you know about that. But here we are heading through the morning hours, uh, just getting into some of our northern counties as we head through the late morning, heading into the lunchtime hour. It will continue to work its way uh, to right through the central part of the state as we head through the uh early afternoon hours and then continuing to work its way to the south as we head through the uh, late afternoon and into the evening hours. Cold front will sweep through. We'll clear the skies out. We'll end that rain. The winds will quickly turn to that north and northwesterly direction that will cool things down. It will bring in some much drier air as well. Now, as far as rainfall, it's kind of going to, it looks like it's going to be all over the place because if you get under one of these in, embedded heavier cells that work their way through, uh, there's that potential. We you can see one and a half to two inches of rain in some areas, but most areas probably more on the average of about a half an inch to an inch of rain as this works its way through. So the forecast goes like this for today. Showers and storms, they will be spreading to our south, working their way through as we go through the day. Some of these could be heavy and some of them could reach, reach those severe limits. Daytime high of 79 degrees. Then for tonight, clearing, breezy and cooler. Low temperature down to 63 for tomorrow. Scattered clouds, breezy and less humid. Look at that daytime high only up to 75 degrees. Not a good day out on the water. Small craft advisories uh, for winds out of the southwest at 20 to 25 knots with even higher gusts than that. Uh, seas four to six feet with rough bait in the waters. Bottom line is don't go out on the water. High tide comes up at 942 this evening. Here's your seven day forecast. 90% chance of those storms around uh, later on this afternoon. And then we cool things down. And by the weekend, we've got morning lows in the 50s. Elise.